let's go through how to draw furry legs. When I say furry legs, I mean anthropomorphic animal legs. There are different kinds and styles, but I'll just cover the basics of how to draw them. When someone says furries, most people will think of animals with human anatomy. So let's first take a look at humans and animals anatomy, to see what is different, and what's similar about them. Here I have a picture of what the human skeleton looks like, and here I have a picture of what a dog skeleton looks like. These look very different, right? That might be, but they do have some similarities. Let's take a look at the structure of the bones in the legs. They have almost the same structure. Here I have marked the bones in different colors based on what part of the leg they belong to. As you can see they have the same skeletal structure in the legs. Seeing how they're similar makes it a lot easier to humanize the dog's anatomy. But let's not stop there. You can do the same with other animals. Here I have more pictures of animal skeletons, a seal, a horse and a bird. I marked the legs in colors so you can see that their skeletal structure also are similar to that of humans and doggos. Isn't this cool? But now what do we do with this information? I already drew some sketches of legs here. This first one is a human anatomical leg, with a color-coded skeleton. I also drew a human leg with the knee bent and a dog leg. Look at how similar the bent human leg and the dog leg looks. I'm sure this is why most people who draw furries would make legs that are a mix of these. So I drew that here. Of course there are many different styles of furry legs. Some are plantigrade, like humans, and some are digitigrade, like dogs. Now let's start drawing. What I usually starts with is some lines that will show where the bones will be. Next I make some shapes to show where the muscles will be. After that you do the cleanup. I personally prefer drawing furries with human-like, plantigrade legs. I guess it's because my style is more anime based than how most people draw furries. Let me show you how to draw paw pads. I usually draw them after I've drawn the foot. I just draw a few shapes, and then do the clean up. I find paw pads to be kinda hard to draw, so I used to draw very simple and stylized paw pads. I guess I can show you what they look like. Anyways, if you feel stuck just look up some human or animal references. Or you can just experiment with anatomy and style and make something up. Remember. Furries aren't real creatures so there's no correct answer on how their anatomy would be. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful.